What's up, meatbags? It's the Alpha Imitated, Never Duplicated Tony, TGD, and you're watching a clip from the latest Gabby with Geeks live stream. Now, if you like what you see, like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, with that all out of the way, let's get into the latest clip from Gabby with Geeks. Did you know Toe Jam and Earl are going to get a movie? No, but I heard they were getting an Amico game. Yeah, they were at one point. Uh, they didn't know it, but apparently they were getting a brand new Amico game. I think you'll see the uh, the the Amico, uh, sorry, the the Toe Jam and Earl movie trilogy before you'll see the Amico game. Yeah, this comes to us from the Hollywood Reporter, so you know it's legit. A Toe Jam and Earl movie in the works for from Amazon. Uh, Stephen Curry exclusive. Uh, Hotel Transylvania 4 writers Amos Vernon and Nunzio Radazzo are writing the project which hails from Story Kitchen. Maybe this is why they couldn't afford the license. Uh, this sucks for the Amico because realistically, right, let's all jokes aside, if the Amico did come out and they were getting a Toe Jam and Earl game, yeah, this, this would be, be a big free publicity, man. Yeah, this would be awesome yeah. for them. Because they would mention it, they're like, they would be like, well, the last time Toe Jam and Earl had uh, made a game was for the Amico, blah, 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 right? That'd be all kind of publicity everywhere. Yeah. Well, also that um, Earth One Gym TV series that they were going to make as well, that would have been publicity for Earth One Gym 4. Yeah. Oh, so, so many ifs about this thing, isn't there? So many. If only. Hmm. I never really liked Toe Jam and Earl, the game. I, always thought I didn't either. Cool. I, I thought it was shit, to be honest. Yeah. I like the characters. I thought the characters looked cool, but I thought the game was shit. All right. Uh, the 1990s Sega video game, Toe Jam and Earl, is in the works as a feature film at Amazon Studio. Also hailing from Stephen Curry's Unanimous Media and Dimitri M. Johnson, Dan Jevons, Derek Kolstad, and Mike Goldberg's Story Kitchen. Toe Jam and Earl, created by Mark Versanger and Greg Johnson, centers on two space alien rappers who come to Earth seeking a cure for the disease, eradicating their whole planet's rhythm, funk, and groove. The synopsis for the project continues. Earth, their legend tells them, is the paradise where the music that created their culture originated. Unfortunately for our heroes, not only do they wreck their ship, but they find that Earth is, well, not the haven they expected. But the music, that part was true. So begins their quest to find as much of that music as they can hope uh, of saving their planet and maybe ours as well. Here's a question. Are they setting it in the 90s? Because I think they would have to, no? They, that would be, yeah, that would be cool. Haunted Just, West was saying the game was awesome. Yeah, I mean, to each their own. I just thought it felt too much like a Nickelodeon cartoon, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm not into that. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be good if they set it in the 90s. Well, I'm saying because the the, the, the music of the game was, was, in, 90s, yeah. was 90s, the culture and everything. And if it's set in, in our era, like, what kind of music are they going to be? I don't think it would fit. Nah, it would suck. Uh, yeah, it needs to be the 90s. Uh, says, now a cult classic, Toe Jam and Earl became a hit video game upon its release in 1991, with the soundtrack pulling heavily from jazz, funk, and hip-hop. It was followed by two sequels, Toe Jam and Earl and Panic on Funkatron, and Toe Jam and Earl 3, Mission to Earth. Amos Vernon and Nunzio Radazzo, the writers behind Hotel Transylvania 4, and the upcoming Disney Plus Super Fudge series, will pen the screenplay. Well, I didn't know Super Fudge was getting a series. What? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a kid's book series. Like okay. young adult. Uh, very popular. Uh, Story Kitchens, Dimitri M. Johnson and Dan Jevons from Science the Hedgehog were produced the unanimous Curries and Eric Payton uh, with Story Kitchens, Mike Goldberg co-producing. Story Kitchens, Timothy I. Stevenson, unanimous is Janelle Lindsay and Versanger and Johnson will executive produce. Uh, unanimous Media, rep by WME and Yorin Levin, will next release Underrated, a documentary with A24 and Apple about Curry's rise during the 2008 March Madness. Uh, the outfit is partnership with Amazon on 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Other shit we don't care about. So what's this going to This going to end up being what, live action or illumination style or what? It's got to be animation, right? It's got to be animation. Well, they got the Hotel Transylvania for writers. Yeah, so it will be... It'll be uh... Yeah, it'll be in that, in that vein then. Yeah, so sounds interesting. Sounds weird. 
you know, I, this is not one that I would expect, right? This like coming out of left field as far as yeah. video game adaptations. Uh, well, I heard that I, I heard that there's also some kind of uh, deal for a Streets of Rage adap- adaptation as a movie as well. That would uh, be yeah, cool. it seems to be some weird stuff coming out. That needs to be set in the nineties as well. Yeah, he says if they do set it in the nineties. Fuck Vanilla yeah. Ice needs to make a cameo. Vanilla Ice, yeah. The the I'm I'm quite a, a Gary will back me here because he collects them as well. I'm quite an avid collector of the the NECA 1990s Ninja Turtle toys. If they don't get a Vanilla Ice NECA uh, deal signed, I'm going to be very upset. I want a Vanilla Ice ca- uh, toy complete with the two backup dancers. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this one, like I said, came uh, right out of left field. Kind of weird. But I dig it. I dig it. It's got to be a cartoon. There's no way they're going to make those guys live action. I wonder if they're going to have all three of them. If they're just going to have Toe Jam and Earl. Or if they're going to have the girl from part three show up. Oh, I don't remember the girl from part three. I think I only played the first one. I played the first one and I did not like it again. They each their own. Uh, but I, I really did not. It's like too, too slow. Like, I wanted action. I didn't want to like be sneaking up on Santa Claus getting presents. I just thought it was weird, man. Really weird. Yeah, so it's Toe Jam and Earl, and uh, Letitia is the female character. Okay. Yeah, so I wonder if she's going to be in there or it's going to set up for a sequel with Letitia at the end. Uh, we'll find out. Thank you for watching another clip from Gaming with Geeks. And remember, you can catch Gaming with Geeks live every Saturday at 7.05 Central Standard Time. That's right. We go two, three, four hours. Sometimes we go all night. And we're always having fun. And if you're looking to see more from the show that this clip was taken from, you can click the link that's on your screen right now. Or you can enjoy another video from this channel by clicking the other link. And remember, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Thank you. And as always, love, peace. Booty grease. I'm out this bitch.